All right, guys, welcome back to the Porsche 911 GTS. This is my 2015 car, 991.1, with the naturally aspirated engine. And I just wanted to do a follow-up video on my last video where I did a big 20,000 mile uh, service, had my tires changed from summer to winter tires, and had some problems with the dealership. And I asked for some recommendations from you guys uh, for summer tires. So I just want to do a follow-up video on some of those things that we talked about. You guys asked what happened with the wheel damage. So if you recall from my video, I had the uh, winter tires put on, the summer tires taken off, and then by doing that, the dealer put a couple of marks on the front wheel. And I expressed disappointment in my video about that because, you know, these are center lock wheels. I thought, let's go back to Porsche, go back to the Porsche dealership and they'll do it right. But they put two scratches on that wheel. The bottom line is uh, since they put the scratches on, they didn't even debate that. They said, we will refinish the wheel at no cost to me. Um, so they're not going to replace the wheel. They're just going to refinish it. And, uh, and I think that's fine, you know, because the scratches are pretty minor. It's not major damage. And really, in the scheme of things, I'm sure it was just a human error. Maybe I need to be looking for a different, reliable mechanic to do this kind of work and not go back to what you guys call the stealership, where they just steal your money. So that's, that's a valid point and uh, a point well taken. To, oh, one other thing I want to mention. One other commenter mentioned that I should have a second set of wheels that have the winter tires on them and then another set of wheels with summer tires on them. With my previous 911, it was a 997.2 Carrera S. It had five bolt turbo two wheels that had summer tires on them. Then I had the normal Carrera S wheels that came with the car with winter tires on them. And you're right, that is the best setup. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Even with that wheel setup, all they're doing is taking one wheel off, putting the other one on. That same Porsche dealership scratched up the lug nut areas on my turbo two wheels. So even though all they're doing is a wheel swap, they're not even taking the rubber off, just a wheel swap, they still damage that set of wheels. I think an ideal setup is to have two sets of wheels. I didn't do that with this car because at the time when I purchased this car, uh, the only center lock wheels that Porsche was making available for purchase separate from the car were wheels that came on a turbo that had a silver finish to them. They were black on the spokes but silver on the face and I didn't want silver faced wheels on this car. I like the black wheels on this car, which matches all the black trim on the exterior of the car. So that was one reason why I didn't opt for that back then. The second reason was it would probably cost me like $4,000 to get those rims and I just didn't want to lay that kind of money out. Now that two years have passed, they probably do have replacement black wheels uh, to match these. All right, guys, just want to let you know, I really appreciate you giving me your recommendations on the summer tires to replace my current uh, Pirelli P0s that, again, were damaged. One has a nail in it, the other has a bubble in it. And your recommendations were the Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss, and uh, I'll definitely look into those, but I really appreciate so many comments supporting those tires. They must be really good. Um, and again, just to recap, how I use this car is primarily on the road for fun driving, but I do autocross this car, and this year I do want to try a track day or two. But for the most part, this is a road car being driven on the road. So some of you mentioned um, the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s, and even mentioned that those may be too aggressive. The Sport Cup 2s are not good in the rain. They're really summer track tires, dry condition track tires. So um, I appreciate that feedback too. So I think the Mission Pilot Sport 4Ss are probably the way to go. 
on a related note, another commenter mentioned with my purchase of my next car, get a wheel and tire protection plan. Um, and I'm glad that commenter left me that note because I forgot to mention, I do have that plan. Uh, when I purchased this car, this car was purchased brand new. I purchased the plan and under that guarantee, the dealership will replace tires that are damaged or repair wheels that are damaged. So in the case of my two rear summer tires, uh, I can have them replaced. So they cover things like nails, bubbles, and things like that. The only stipulation for replacing those tires, there has to be at least the minimum tread depth uh, remaining on the tire. So they require three and 32 inch depth of of tread wear so I have to double check I believe I have enough tread remaining on those two rear tires and in that case I could have the two rear tires replaced at no cost to me by the dealer the other thing it covers is any damage to the wheel so if I were to curb my wheels or you know hit a pothole and scratch up the wheel uh, they will refinish those wheels it's a nice little curvy bit of road here. Anyway, I just love driving, by the way. You know, I, now this is not the greatest road I'm on right now, to be honest with you, but this car is just so good. Uh, I just like being in this car and just driving this car. It's just, oh, I know I must say that. I know I must repeat myself, but it's that good. I gotta watch these potholes. Now that's one thing in the winter time, I have winter, time, winter tires on this car, which is great. Right now it's probably what, 23 degrees as I film this. Too cold for summer tires. But these are very low profile tires and therefore there's a lot of rim exposed. So in the Northeast here, the roads get really torn up by the weather and the plows scraping the pavement and that creates lots of potholes. So potholes are a real danger. And that's one of the reasons why I got the wheel and tire protection plan, because with one of my previous Porsches, in fact, my 997.2, I hit a pothole on the highway, the freeway, and it bent the rim. I could just get the two summer Pirelli P0s replaced under this warranty since I already paid for this warranty for five years. If the rear tires are worn out below, beyond their tread depth, then definitely I'm gonna be looking at those uh, Michelin Pilot um, Sport 4S's. And I still may do the Michelins anyway. If you know that there's something better, why not get the better tire? So I have to weigh the options there. So I'll keep you posted on what I decide to do. So with that guys, I'll wrap it up here and say thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more content. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Safe driving everybody.